This video is powered by As Always Entertainment. If you enjoy this content, consider becoming a patron over on patreon.com forward slash as always for access to the Patreon exclusive podcast, The Kilk on a Clubhouse, early access to the Cinema Room podcast, being a part of polls for future videos, and other early access material. With that said, please enjoy the video. Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with an Assassin's Creed video uh, for the first time in a while. Uh, so we're here to talk about the next Assassin's Creed game uh, when I think it's coming out based on information I know, the rumours and speculation that's circulating around the internet at the moment, as well as talk about these rumours and speculations that are going around on the internet. What can we believe? What's right? What's wrong? And what's most likely? Well, all of that I'm going to be talking about today in this video. Of course, the next Assassin's Creed is always a contentious topic whenever there are so many fake leaks that come out throughout this period of time when everyone's waiting and wondering what's the next setting? What's it going to be? Who's making it? There's a lot to go through, so we're going to get into that right now. Before we get any further into this video, I'd like to thank our Patreon producers for helping support this channel. That is Acraic, Josh Devlier, King Richard III, and Seth, so thank you guys for helping support this channel, as well as I hope you don't mind my bald head at the moment, so uh, sorry about that. It's, I don't know why I apologize, it's just shave my head, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> so we go back to January of 2016, when Empire or Assassin's Creed Origins actually had its first ever leaked and rumor from 4chan. So the leak almost got everything right, including future plans for Greece with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This leak mentioned Rome as a possible future setting. The leak got so many features of Origins gameplay right and got so much of 2016 correct, including Ubisoft taking 2016 off and not releasing a game that year. Watch Dogs 2 being worked on, things like that. And Jason Schreier from Kotaku also corroborated that story back in 2016, and that built the hype. That got myself and the other four pillars in the community ag agreeing that the next game would be in Egypt, and that 2016 would be a year off for Assassin's Creed, and only a couple of months after Ubisoft announced it themselves that they'd take the year off of Assassin's Creed, and then all of a sudden this leak got even more legs behind it. Even with Jason Schreier, who had actually leaked several previous Assassin's Creed games, once he got behind it, so many of us got behind it too. There is one quote I wanted to read from the 4chan leak, which said, quote, I might be wrong, the original game included Greece, which you can travel to, but it was cut from the game due to scale issues, so the naval side is now a mystery to me. There are talks about making a trilogy of this same character, so they might explore Greece, Rome next. And look, they built a Greece scale, apparently, in the early development of Origins, and then what did we get next? We got Odyssey, only a year later. It all sort of fit together, and so much that they discussed with this whole era. Obviously, it didn't get everything right. The leak came two years before Origins even came out, but it got so much of the gameplay mechanics, setting right, story elements correct about it being the Origins of the Assassin's Templars, and back in that time period. So, there was so much that this leak talked about that ended up becoming true, including after the fact of the Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Greece being a future setting, it only makes sense to everybody in this era of games that you're making in ancient times of ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, that ancient Rome would have to be involved in that in some way, shape or form, including mentioning it himself, that that would be a possible next setting. Of course, we didn't get a Bayek trilogy, but there's still a potential to get this Ancients trilogy with Egypt, Greece, and then ancient Rome. Now, when looking at the past with Assassin's Creed development, we know that it comes in errors. We have the Altair Ezio era with the Ezio trilogy that ended with Revelations. We then have the Colonial America Industrial Revolution era, Assassin's Creed 3, Black Flag, Rogue, and you can include Unity and Syndicate in that. Those five games are kind of an error that all fit together with a lot of crossing over storylines and similar time periods within a 200 year span. We then moved all the way back to ancient Egypt, and then we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey in ancient Greece. Those have linked together, as we've seen in the latest DLC. There are links, there are connections. Obviously, the game engines work very similar, so they like to have errors for that development fact as well. So that's something that works into it. The, the next setting would still include what they've been designing and what they had been building on the past several games before, again, a new 
era begins that kind of refreshes the franchise the same way at the end of revelations they changed the whole way the engine worked the way the whole gameplay mechanics works with assassin's creed 3 they did the same with unity and then they did the same with assassin's creed origins i still feel like there's one more game to come in 2020 with this current era before a next gen only game is done that'll be a new refresh and we have more information actually to talk about with that now the settings in the past have actually been leaked to myself and other members of the Four Pillars community. For example, just me personally, I had someone reach out to me around this time last year that they had play tested and seen Assassin's Creed Odyssey. They didn't have a name for me then, but they gave me details that Greece was the next setting. They gave me details that it would be two optional protagonists who are Spartans, and there was a lot of other gameplay features they went through, including they saw the Spartan kick, they saw some concept art, they saw some artwork, things like that, and other gameplay. So I got a lot of details from that, and I wasn't sure what to make of it, especially because I didn't think there was a game coming out in 2018, of which, obviously, I was wrong. But after hearing this, I did tend to believe this person, especially they sent me a lot of evidence to back up that this was a real testimony essentially and you know i talked about it on podcasts i made videos about it only a month or two after that assassin's creed odyssey was leaked and announced at e3 2018 and then we got the game at the end of that year so it has happened in the past that myself and other community members get information like this it's happened before and we were all behind the assassin's creed empire origins rumors back in the day so there has been other developments, one being from, if you don't know, the YouTuber Fishy. He's got 100,000 plus subscribers. I don't know how you don't know him. If you're watching me, um, one of the four pillars, he got a message. I've actually got a printout right here. I was, I'm going to read it. Um, the message that uh, Ethan said, it's okay with me to read it out. We also read it on the Kill Connor Club podcast in December of last year when this information came out. So I'll read some important bits. Pretty much the person that's messaging him uh, is a game designer, mostly indie, but has recently found employment at an undisclosed uh, company, very big company. Uh, anyway, a few old friends and colleagues have found themselves working at a few different Ubisoft studios around the world, and they've given me some interesting details that the four pillars might like. So here's, here's, what, here's what we get. Quote, so what I've heard is that the next AC game is in development from Ubisoft. A friend in the Philippines says they're assisting on the 2020 game called Legion, taking place in Rome. Unfortunately, a lot of story stuff is up in the air due to rewrites from fan backlash, but the idea is to have it act as a Bayek sequel with a close descendant of his, and Aya's, in Rome, possibly with Revelations-esque flashbacks. They also mentioned Cassandra might be in the game, and possibly related to the protagonist. He said the world is most of Italy and very fan servicey, like Rogue was, and is really being made to hold off until the next gen Ash game. But the game was initially going to be more based on Odyssey than Origins with gameplay. That said, my friend in Montreal doesn't know anything about it, only saying he's working on Watch Dogs 3 for 2019, but Ash's team is working on an East Asian setting. He's only seen some glimpses of the artwork though. For 2021 and next gen with a new engine, unfortunately a friend from Treyarch who has friends at Montreal says Ash's team is actually working on Vikings, so I have no idea what they're doing there. Anyway, that's what I've heard. Obviously take it with a grain of salt. Hope that gives you guys some hope for something for a bike sequel. So that was a message that the Four Pillars got last year. Ethan got for the Four Pillars. And there's a lot to break down in that. Obviously... What we were aware of, there was two Ubisoft studios that are making games. That's Ubisoft Quebec, who made Odyssey, and Ubisoft Montreal 3, that made Assassin's Creed Origins Black Flag. That's Ashraf Ishmael's team. So when they're referring to Ash in that message, that's Ashraf Ishmael, uh, who's the game director for Origins and Black Flag, and I believe is now currently creative director on whatever project he's working on currently at Ubisoft Montreal. Uh, Ubisoft Sophia made Assassin's Creed Rogue, they also made the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC for Assassin's Creed Origins, so to think that they're making a kind of, a main game of course, but the game that's going to be next, that is really just holding off until the next big, next gen, next step game for Assassin's Creed, that makes a lot of sense actually, when you look at it, to think that Ubisoft Sophia, that has done, you know, good work with Assassin's Creed, 
are getting their own chance to make their own game once again and it being an ancient Rome game makes a lot of sense. There's also some details here that make a lot of sense now more than they did then and that's really what I want to talk about here and why I think there's a lot of legs to this story. Now this is the story elements that have been mentioned. It's pos it's acting, acting as a sort of Bayek sequel in the sense of it will be a descendant of both Bayek and Aya. That's very important in this. So if it's a descendant of both Bayek and Aya in Rome, so the Brotherhood of the Hidden Ones, the Assassins, has been being built, it could be a son, daughter, grandson or daughter, even further down that line, it could be a couple hundred years after that, just a descendant of Bayek and Aya, and then with possible revelations as flashbacks. So it could be flashbacks through the Animus, or potentially it could be the memory seals that we saw in Revelations that was able to have Ezio go back and relive memories of Altair. Potentially they could bring that back as an element so that fans can get their fan service of having Bayek around and just seeing elements of the Brotherhood being built and developing. And that's, of course, what you'd expect to see in Ancient Rome here as well with the descendant of Bayek and Ayers. Now, the important thing to note was this that didn't make any sense at the time we got this message back in December, which is... They also mentioned Cassandra might be in the game and possibly related to the protagonist. So Cassandra being in the game made sense, of course, spoilers for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Cassandra, or Alexia, depending on who you picked, have the staff of Hermes. That means they live, and we see, until 2018, where they die uh, in Layla's arms in the modern-day storyline. So that means, obviously, somewhere in the world, there's Cassandra with the staff of Hermes alive during this ancient Rome time period. Now that made sense, I guess, if they wanted to throw that in. It would be kind of dumb in my opinion, but if that's what they're doing, that's what they're doing. At least they'd actually have games relating to each other. Now the interesting thing that didn't make sense at the time that makes sense now is that Cassandra would possibly be related to the protagonist. Now that only makes sense now because we saw in episode 3 of The Legacy of the First Blade that Aya is a direct descendant of Cassandra's. So that tells us that whoever's a direct descendant of Ayers is a part of Cassandra's bloodline. So it makes sense that Cassandra at some point returned or was keeping an eye on her bloodline just to keep them safe while also keeping the distance so that the Order of the Ancients couldn't hunt them down and destroy them essentially like they were trying to do in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So this now makes a lot of sense. So from this story, which Honestly, I believe, especially Ethan said this is a person he trusts, and I trust the hell out of Ethan, so if he trusts someone, I trust him too. So I've, I've always been a believer in this, just in the sense of it makes development sense, that Ubisoft Sophia would be making a game that's going to come out in 2020, which is when the next-gen consoles are coming out. So similar to Black Flag, you have a game that's going to be coming out made through an old engine with current gen, that will be released on both current gen and next gen during that period in fall of 2020 when both new consoles come out, PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox. Now in 2021, the same way in 2014 we got Unity, a next gen only game, I think it's pretty clear that we'll get a next gen only game in 2021. There will be Ash's team with a new engine, new gameplay mechanics, fresh start, new era for Assassin's Creed. That just made sense to me from the get-go in terms of development, and I hadn't really thought about it. It's not something that made sense that I was thinking about. It's something that was said to me, and I'm like, wow, that actually makes a lot more sense for development and kind of releasing the best games at the right time. It's good business sense. But then when it talked about setting Rome, well, I was already thinking that was the next game anyway. And then it's talking about story, it kind of made sense that Ubisoft is so stubborn they don't want to make a Bayek sequel, they don't want the same character in multiple games, but they're like, oh, the fans are demanding it, we'll do an Altair revelations s type thing where Bayek will be in it and important to the story, but he's not the character. So they can do their new character, new merchandise, new storylines, fresh, as they like to say. But then there's all these other story elements that make more sense now in retrospect from what the information we've gotten from later Odyssey DLCs. So to me, there's only more legs growing to this discussion, especially them saying that Watch Dogs 3 is coming in 2019, kind of what we're all aware of, going to be set in London. Obviously, there's a couple mentions of Ash's game, East Asia or Vikings. Not a lot of information there. We know they're working on something, already knew that. And those are two very pertinent settings 
with the future eras of Assassin's Creed that makes sense. An East Asian game makes sense to be the next era of games. A Vikings game with God of War coming out, there's a lot of popularity to that sort of material. It's possible they'd be making something like that as well. It's a good time to do something like that. It was a good time to do East Asia with Ghost of Tsushima. So there's a lot of interesting elements to this information that I like. Now, what I want to talk about is all these other leaks that have come out of that, which is so much Assassin's Creed Legion details. They've even printed one leak out, the, and there's so many fake ones. Uh, so this was one that was posted by Anonymous, and they posted like an eagle flying over Rome, and it looked terrible, fake, and just absolutely ridiculous. So many people are saying, because all these Legion leaks are coming out, and they're obviously faked images, that that means the Legion information is fake. That's not true. The reason, there was no Legion, Assassin's Creed Legion in ancient Rome, by X sequel esque leaks. The first one was the one the Four Pillars got. That message I read to you was the first one. Now all of a sudden we've got multiple Legion leaks coming out of the woodworks, and that's because they've listened to the podcast or listened to news outlets that reported on it. Jaw Raptor made a video from that information we gave in Kill Connor Club episode 90. People have heard about this information and now people are making fake leaks and they're just taking information that we had talked about and making up their own story surrounding it, making up names of characters and some storylines while using elements of the leak. But there's no new information that makes any sense from any of these fake leaks coming out. And there's been several that have come out and, that, and you can expect more of these fake leaks to come out. But that doesn't make Assassin's Creed Legion, which is again a codename, it won't be called that I'm sure when it comes out. Uh, it doesn't make it not true. In fact, I believe that the next Assassin's Creed game is in ancient Rome. I believe that before I got any of this information. I just now believe it's being developed by Ubisoft Sophia. It's coming out in 2020. It's going to be on both current gen and next gen consoles. And then Ashraf Ishmael's Montreal 3 team will make the next gen game in a new era, new setting, new storyline, new characters in 2021. Maybe 2022, but I expect 2021 because they'll want to really capitalize on the next-gen consoles. And they've been working on it, I imagine, since Origins wrapped up at the end of 2017. So that's, you know, a solid three three years in development, uh, or four years in development by the time it had come out. So, you know, it makes a lot of sense to me. And, I mean, you can trust me or not, but I've been covering Assassin's Creed games on YouTube for seven years, and I'm pretty good at telling when leaks are real and fake and what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. And to me, the Legion information that we were given makes sense it makes business sense it makes development sense with the teams working on it it makes story sense and it makes setting sense it doesn't mean it's true but i am inclined to believe this but i just want to say keep a lookout for these fake leaks and again it doesn't mean that because one leak's fake they're all fake it means there's a lot of fake leaks that kind of try to base off real leaks. During the period of assassin's creed empire speculation there were so many egypt leaks that were proven fake leaks. But again, the next game was still in Egypt. Empire was true, but it was just a codename. It was called Origins. That happened. But we got plenty of fake leaks beforehand. As I've said, Assassin's Creed in 2020 will be in ancient Rome. At least I believe that. I'm 99% sure that the next game will be in ancient Rome. And I'm pretty sure that Ubisoft Sophia will be developing it. And Ashraf's team is busy making the next gen game for 2021. It just makes sense. Storyline so much is going to change by the time that game comes out that I'm not really going to take any of the story information to tell you that's what's going to happen next. But from what has been said, it makes sense for what we're being given with DLC and storyline. Cassandra, Aya are related. Any descendant of Aya and Bayek will be related to Cassandra. So Cassandra being involved in a storyline in ancient Rome with a new character as a part of the Hidden Ones, it all just makes sense. So that's it for this video. What do you think? Where do you think the next game is going to be? Do you believe the Legion information that in 2020 we're going to ancient Rome? And where would you like to see the next gen 2021 Ashraf Ishmael game be located? Let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And once again, thanks to our Patreon producers, King Richard III, Acraic, Josh Devlier, and Seth for supporting this channel. And if uh, you'd like to become uh, a Patreon producer. Just head over to patreon.com forward slash as always to support my channel plus extra bonus content and early access material to podcasts. I appreciate you watching this video everyone. Thank you once again and I will see you very soon for another video.